people, my people, <laughs> we love Roku. I love Roku. It's one of the very first gins I actually tried this time around. I drank gin when I was quite young, had a experience as you do when you're young and stupid and you drink bad gin. And Roku was one of those gins that, as I began drinking gin, I, yeah, you hit Roku. Roku's delicious. It's a nice dry Japanese gin. It's got six ingredients. Now, I discovered recently that Roku has a upmarket cousin, and that is Suntory Sui Gin. As I place it properly towards the camera, there is no sound of happiness. It is a screw top. Now, obviously, this is a long review. I've done two reviews of this. Um, There's a bit missing out of the bottle, so I have enjoyed this gin. Neat. I'm a neat gin drinker, people. Be afraid. Be very afraid. So, I actually did a little bit of research, apart from drinking plenty of this. Um, <clears throat> and whilst it's got the same six sided uh, bottle of Suntory, it actually doesn't have six ingredients. Roku is. Sorry, I'll get my right. It's the same six sided bottle as Roku, it doesn't have six ingredients. It's a better version of Roku, and it's got three ingredients. Um, by the fact Sui is not Japanese for uh, three. So let's try this. There is abundant citrus in this, okay? If you're a citrus lover, such as my darling wife, this is going to be a gin right up your creek. So let's try this taste of happiness. Yeah. Now, <clears throat> the Suntory website says that this has got three Japanese botanicals in it. At least one, one is definitely Japanese. It's got yuzu, and that explains that mattress, massive citrus hit straight out, just bang straight in, which I like. The other is green tea, not exactly rich in the Japanese, more Chinese. Jump the shades back in medieval times, back in the in our period, the Japanese were drinking green tea. We know it goes at least back a thousand years. And ginger. Ginger has its area of origin, curiously enough, to include Cape York Peninsula. So that whole Papua New Guinea east end of Southeast Asia is kind of like the heartland of ginger. So the yuzu is almost certainly Japanese. The green tea, I guess you've had it for a thousand years, you can call it Japanese. And the ginger. Well, we know the Japanese have been eating ginger for at least 600 years. I got a whole Japanese section. I know these things. So, is it three, three Japanese um, ingredients? Yeah, okay, go wrong with that. Is it value for money? Is it better than Roku? I would say considerably. Roku has, there's a, you can taste the sake because the base spirit from this is distilled from rice. Okay, that's perhaps the fourth Japanese ingredient. The Suntory and most Japanese gins get their booze from fermenting rice and that's how you get sake. So what they're doing is they create sake and then they distill the sake. This does not have that. No way at all does this remind me of Suntory in terms of sake. Quite apart from the fact that the citrus is considerably more pronounced. They say drink it with soda. There's a cup of Japanese um, cocktails which I, I can't find shiso leaves in Australia. Please tell me where I can, so I can drink more of this. And this is a perfectly workable, not terribly challenging <laughs> dry gin. And it cost me under $80. So have fun. In Australia, it's available at Uncle Dan's, Dan Murphy's. I got it from a massive Asian grocery shop in Clayton called Hong Kong Supermarkets. And they do pretty well everything. And I've got an impressive job. Um, selection of Asian booze, which I will be voluntarily getting into. Wife may not like Umeshu, but I'll be seeing what I can do with that, so. Sanpa, uh, kanpai. And drink more of this. Thank you for watching, subscribe, like, share, as it's been saying in that little corner up here. Because you want to see more of these. And you're my friends. I'll catch you around. Bye.